My name is Michael. I'm the co-founder and COO of Smart, and we want to be the primary place where employees find and share professional content. So when you go to work in the morning, instead of opening up your email or logging onto your intranet, you open our app and you're instantly informed of whatever you need to do to be successful in your work. If you're a salesperson, you get your sales materials, you get the news about your company or the industry right in your app. So we started the company in 2011, but we've been working on this software actually for the past four years. Uh, we're around 60 people, uh, and we have a team of 20 nationalities. Uh, we have offices in London, Stockholm, and we're headquartered in Helsinki, Finland. Uh, we're looking to expand our operations in the US as well, and actually in Q2, most of our new business was already coming from the US. Uh, we've achieved 50 plus months of continuous revenue growth, so we're growing steadily. The enterprise communications ecosystem is changing. So in your old ecosystem, you actually can't see it there, but uh, uh, so you would use your emails to contact your employees, you would have them log into an intranet, but people already get too many emails and intranets are not very engaging. So nowadays, you need to have some chat and collaboration tools like Slack. You need file hosting and user management uh, like G Suite. But I feel like companies are severely lacking in the content and knowledge sharing aspect. There's no easy way for the companies to make it easy for their employees to distribute, share content to each other and externally to their networks. And this problem has two sides, really. From an employee standpoint, uh, it's crazy, really, because there's an information overload. They get too much information, but at the same time, the information is not relevant for their work. This leads to reduced productivity and reduced engagement. According to some studies, 20% uh, of employee working time is used to find information when they don't know who can help them or where to find the information. From the enterprise standpoint, uh, this leads to ineffective communication, disengagement at the workplace, and also companies miss out on the opportunity and benefit of their employees becoming their brand ambassadors on social media. Again, according to some studies, only 13% of the global workforce is engaged at work, and this, of course, is an alarmingly low number. So we tackle this with our internal content hub for employee engagement and advocacy. Everything happens around professional content, so there's no chat feature, so to speak. Everything is always about a piece of content, whether it is meant for internal sharing or then external sharing. It's personalized to each and every employee, so they can choose only the information that is interesting to them. It is also an employee-driven platform, so not all the communication is coming from the company top-down, but there's also peer-to-peer -peer sharing and when an employee finds an interesting piece of content that would be useful to their colleagues, they can also add that to the platform. Of course, it's mobile and it's measurable. Because if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. We have around 300 corporate customers. Uh, we're very industry agnostic. So we have professional services companies, B2B, B2C. Actually, European Commission is our client as well. We have Amazon in the UK. Um, so really, really nice companies. Uh, MuleSoft, as an example, for it, uh, they were just acquired by Salesforce. So uh, maybe we should run a campaign that if you use our platform, you get acquired. But um, uh, I was asked to highlight how they use our platform. So they really like the ability to crowdsource the content from their employees. They also use it for sales recruitment. And last but not least, they have a strict budget of cost per lead and whatever software they can purchase that gets them to under that certain level of cost per lead, they can, of course, uh, grow that account, and they've been growing at a fast pace, so we'll see how it goes now that Salesforce has actually acquired them, US company. Business model, uh, annual, automatically recurring prepaid licenses. The seed-based pricing starts at around $10 per user per month. And the annual contract value right now is around 14,000 US dollars, but it's growing steadily. As a summary, we're a category leader in our space. We have over 300 corporate customers. We've achieved net negative churn, and our MRR has been growing for over 50 consecutive months. 
And we're looking for the Series B round in 2019. We raised the Series A in April this year. So we're here to meet investors. If you invest in this space, come and chat with us. Or if you're a corporation that's struggling uh, with the challenges that you saw and I discussed, let's have a chat. Thank you.